Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be looking at how we can recover data from a micro SD card or SD card. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already, and hit that bell notification button to get notified when we upload uh, new videos. Now, this is the software we're gonna be using. It's called Stellar Data Recovery, and you can download it from here. Now, it's not free, but it's free to do a scan. And if you find data on your drive, you can then purchase it and recover that data. So you don't have to purchase it straight away. Now, this is what we're gonna be doing a recovery on. You can either do micro SD cards, SD cards, USB flash drives, hard drives, whatever you want to do. But in this one, we are gonna be doing uh, micro SD cards and SD cards. You can see you've got adapters here. If your computer doesn't allow you to plug that in, you can use something like this. But we're going to be using this one here, which plugs into our USB on our computer. So let's get started. So you can see here, we do have a USB on the end of here, and it does have many different ports where we can plug in either micro SD, uh, you also SD cards, all different types of stuff you can plug into these. So we're going to be uh, doing a scan on this uh, SD card here. It's just a 32 gig one. Now, depending on what you want to do, if your computer does have one of these slots on it, uh, you can plug it straight into there and it will be recognized as a drive on there. So now I just need to plug this into my computer and see if it gets detected. So let's go over to our computer here. As you can see, we get our card being detected and you can see it's empty. And what we need to do now is install our software and run a scan on that card itself. Now, of course, you can scan your hard drive and your USB flash drive in the same way as, as what I'm doing here, okay? I'm just choosing to do a micro SD card or an SD card in this video. So let's go ahead and install our software. It's free to download and install here, uh, but if you want to recover your data, you will need to purchase it. Uh, so just bear that in mind. So just click Next and click Install. And here we have Launch. Uh, Stellar Phoenix uh, Windows Data Recovery and I'll let this just open up there we go so what we need to do now is uh, choose what we want to do so you can either scan the whole drive and look for everything so if you're looking for documents photos uh, emails audio and stuff like that leave everything uh, tick there which is all your data but if I'm looking for movie files so I'm just going to get rid of uh, emails here I'm going to leave audio, videos and folders and uh, get rid of uh, photos and office documents as well. Now you can see the folders here is all content within folders. So it's folders within folders. That's important if you're looking for other documents that are in there. So I'm going to remove all the rest and just go ahead and do a scan on this stuff. Now there is some more advanced settings to this software here. So I'll just quickly go up here and just quickly show you uh, and look at the advanced settings so you can see them. Uh, and as you can see here, this is what we've got here, a, re a preview, corrupt photos in safe mode. You can turn on a preview uh, window here, but the wizard will take care of a lot of this for you. But if you're more experienced, you can go ahead and set this up yourself. Now you can see here the file list for the files that it's going to try to detect. So if you know a particular file type, you can come in here and just search for that file type. OK, and that's another way of going about doing it if you want to do that. I'm just going to let it scan for all of those. You can see here, add header, edit header. And uh, once you've done all your settings here, you've got a resume uh, recovery here. So if you want to pause at any stage, you can do. But once you've got all your settings right, you need to select the drive that you want to scan. And you can see here, I have got my cam underscore SD. And this is my camera SD card. So I'm just going to select that. And what we're going to do here is click on the deep scan on the left hand side. Now, I want to do a deep scan on this uh, because I want to dig real deep into that drive and try to recover as much data as possible. Now, you can do a quick scan, uh, but I'm going to do a deep scan here. Let that run and that will take quite some time. So be patient and uh, just go and make yourself a nice cup of tea or something and uh, do something and leave the computer running and let it scan okay because it will take a fair bit of time you can see it reading sector by sector there and it's just going to constantly read that drive and try to recover data from that drive so there we go that is the scan now completed you can see here as detected 47 files uh, found in 18 folders 
and you can see the size of the data that is recoverable. We can now click on this and you can see the uh, data tree here where we can access all our data uh, by hitting the recover button. But just remember before you can recover, you will need to purchase the product. So if you've already purchased it, it'll ask you for your key and you just post your key in at that stage. Now you can see the .mts files here, which is the ones I wanted. I'm gonna create a folder on my desktop here, call this uh, recovered data or something like that, recovered files, whatever you wanna call it. You can put the date in there as well if you want to. And uh, once you've got all your settings right here, you just click recover and now it will ask you for your key. So it is detected uh, all them files so if you can actually see a preview of it and you know that's the data you want you can go ahead and purchase the product and then put your key in okay it's that simple and if it hasn't detected it you can try another piece of software so you can see here I've already purchased this so I'm going to click OK here and now I need to click on the browse button to choose a destination for my data I'm going to put it into my desktop folder which I just created called recover data go users and then the account and then go to desktop and then click on the folder that I've just created. So now I can do start saving and it will start to save all that data to that re recovery folder there that I've created. And there you go. I've now just recovered all the data that I lost. As you can see here, it creates a folder called hash root and this is all the folders that it's just now recovered. There we go. Anyway, that's just a quick video on how to use Stellar Phoenix Window Data Recovery to recover all your data from uh, SD cards, micro SD cards, USB flash drives and hard drives, depending on what you want to scan for. OK, anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.